Hola, 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 hola. Buenas noches, buenas tardes a todos. Vamos a empezar en un minuto. We're getting ready to jump off into class tonight. We're talking about something pretty, pretty interesting here. So make sure you pull up with un cuaderno, un lapis o una pluma, a notebook, a pencil, and or a pen. And we're going to jump off into it. I want to give this, this uh, visual to you. In esta diapositiva, on this slide, we have the title here. We're talking about Unlock the Future using ir a plus an infinitive, okay? Using ir a plus an infinitive. And as you come into the building, okay, make your presence known. And also go ahead and fill out the poll that we have here pinned at the top. Make sure you fill that in so that we'll know where you are. Uh, with the information that we're talking about tonight. Okay, so we want to make sure we know where everyone is coming from when we discuss this information tonight. We're talking about ir a plus an infinitive. We're going to give people a little bit of time to come in here. All right, so join us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, if you're with us on Facebook or if you're with us on LinkedIn, Bienvenidos, bienvenidos a ustedes. Welcome to you all as well. All right. Uh, we're trying a little something different here. We want to see what the time frame does here for us. Okay, so we're we're starting out here in the evening. Uh, we don't normally do this. We are an afternoon crew, right? So we want to make sure you are um, in the building whenever we show these or have these classes. We're just going to try and, and bounce around and find a good time for everyone, okay? So without further ado, we're giving it about two or three more minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and get started here by putting up some of the information that's going to help us out. Right now, we want to make sure if you are in the building, damas y caballeros, go ahead and share this out to at least five other people that you know want to learn, have mentioned it before in their lifetime, that they want to learn Spanish. Go ahead and share this with them right now. Copy and paste that link. All right, that you got that got you here. Okay. And I'll type the link in below. I think I can do that. I think I can do that for you. I'm going to put that link in below for you um, so that we can get them here and joining us on the live. Let me figure out, <laughs> figure out how to do that. Okay, let's see here. Do 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 while you're working away there. I'm gonna see if I can figure that out. Oh man. Oh wait, what do we got here? Let me see here. I think this might be the one. Okay. Uh come on. Oh yes. Oh yes. Got the link for you. Okay. Boom. I'm putting it into the comment section right here. We're coming. Oh yeah. Learn stuff on the fly. That's how I do things. All right. So it's coming. It should be showing up momentarily in the um, the section for you there. Uh, go ahead and share that out to someone. If you know, they've been, they're one of those people that have been, man, I wish I could learn Spanish. Share that with them now. Tell them to get in this building and get this free 99 class on unlocking the future. All right. We've got about 30 seconds to kick this off. We need um, just a few more people and give them time. You know, everybody's not on the same time frame or time zone, but we want to make sure we get this info information out to them before we jump off into this because we don't want to leave anyone behind here. Okay, so antes de empezar, we've got a little information that we need to check off into first. And this is kind of a checklist, okay? This is a checklist here for... As we go through tonight in this lesson, by the end of this lesson, I want you to be able to answer these three questions. I can or say this to yourself, can I do the following? And if you can affirmative, affirmatively say I can do the following, then that is you have definitely learned what we did here today. OK, so la primera cosa, the first thing, identify the different forms of the verb ser. Can you do that? OK, that is the first thing we want to make sure that you are able to do before you leave out of here tonight. La segunda cosa, express my thoughts about future actions. Right. 
Y si tenemos personas que hablan español, yo voy a traducir esa información a, a español para ustedes. So we've got some Spanish speakers that are doing a reverse engineering on the class that happened to join us or they watch this on the replay. I'm going to start translating some of that information for them. So la primera cosa para mis hispanohablantes, identifica las formas del verbo ir en inglés. Can you do that? All right, puede hacer eso. La segunda cosa, exprésate su, tus pensamientos sobre las acciones en el futuro. Okay, es la segunda cosa. So that's for our Spanish speakers that are reverse engineering this class to learn English. Y la tercera cosa, o la última cosa, the third thing, or the last thing, answer questions about future actions. If I were to ask you tonight and I said, hey, what are you going to do tomorrow? Or what are you going to do tonight? Can you give me a complete response, a complete statement? And we're going to go through how to set you up and to formulate a complete statement to that question that we have there. So, la tercera cosa para ustedes, contesta las preguntas sobre acciones en el futuro. En el futuro, okay? All right, so let's jump into it. We are here. You know how we always do. The first thing is we go, we're going to give you una palabra de hoy, a word of the day, a word for today. Our word for today is uh, to do or to make. Jot that down in tu cuaderno. Jot that down in your cuaderno. All right, to do or to make. All right, in español, to do or to make, tenemos hacer. Okay, hacer. Hacer. Remember, H's are silent for our super no, novice uh, students here, or our, our super beginners. Hacer. H's are silent, right? To do or to make. Make sure you remember that word. Recuerda esta palabra. All right, to do or to make. Okay, so let's recap. All right, it's been a while since we've been in a live stream class. So let's recap a little bit and see what you remember. Okay, let's see what you remember here. So the first thing is this. We're going to bring up what we call los pronombres sujetos o los pronombres personales. All right, so we're going to bring those up momentarily here. But if you know what they are, I want you to go ahead and jot those down in tu cuaderno or put those out in uh, put those out in the chat here or put it in the comment section if you're watching the replay here. I'm just going to go through them real quickly here. We've got the reasons or the ways that we identify our subject pronouns in a statement, okay? We've got the person that's doing the action, okay? That's going to be your subject, right? We're going to use subject pronouns to replace those actual people's names. But it essentially is the person doing the action. El ejecutor de la acción. All right. The, stick, the second thing, la segunda cosa. All right. We use subject pronouns to replace a name or a noun, right? That's a recap. Pretty simple, right? Vamos a usar un pronombre para reemplazar el nombre de una persona. Okay. Y la tercera cosa, o la última cosa. Uh, we use pronouns or subject pronouns to avoid repetition, right? We use subject pronouns to avoid repetition. That's just a recap of what we have done in the past classes back in 2022 at the end of 2022. I want to make sure that you have this information today as well, because it's all relative, right? Usa, uh, vamos a usar los pronombres sujetos o pronombres personales para Evitar repetición, right? That's for our Spanish speakers. All right, so let's review these. So we've got I, right? I, we're going to use yo. Vamos a usar yo, ¿verdad? All right? You, right? Vamos a utilizar tú, right? We're going to use tú. This is informal, right? We'll get into that a little later here for a recap. El, he, right? El is he, okay? Ella, she, right? Ella is she. Make sure you get those people in here. We want to get those people in here. You know who they are. Your homeboys, your homegirls, somebody at school, get them in here. They need to be listening to this, get this review, especially if they're having trouble with ir a plus an infinitive. If they are in school, if you are just somebody looking to be able to express your thoughts in, on future actions, this is the class for you. Make sure you share it out to them as well if they need to know how to do this simple yet. Uh, it can be confusing, but I'm going to break it down so that you understand um, how to utilize it. Usted, 
This is you formal. That's why we got a picture of uh, un medico, un doctor aquí. All right, usted. This is when we're talking to people older than us, people we don't know, or people we want to show respect to. Okay, that's what we're going to utilize here. Okay. Nosotros, right? Nosotros or nosotras going to be we, right? If you don't remember what that ampersand there is for or the at sign, remember if it's nosotros, it's a group of guys and myself included, or it's a mixed group of guys and gals, myself included, or it's a group of girls and say, for example, my best friend happens to be a girl, it's her and her friends included. Hola, señor Bruce. Gracias. Gracias, señor. All right. So now, Vosotras, this is the notes. And ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you take your notes. If you have not been taking them before, let's get this information down into cuaderno so you can have something to look back at. All right, so vosotros, vosotras, y'all or you all, right? And where do we use this at? There's only one particular país that we use this, okay? You don't have to worry about using this in a certain region, all right? It's only one country. That country is... The país es España, right? Only in Spain do you have to worry about utilizing this. But if you're somebody like a, a client that I have here uh, now that will be traveling to Spain for work, I'm going to I'm going to introduce that information on the screen today. But I won't necessarily be going over it uh, in the class because the majority of people are not going to have to use it. Okay, ustedes, you all or y'all, okay. Y la última información que necesitamos aquí, the last information that we need here, they, ellos or ellas. Same situation with the ampersand or the at sign here. Ellos being they as in those guys, ellas being those girls, they, all right? And then ellos can also be a mixed group as well, Okay. So make sure you are aware of that. All right, vamos a continuar. Here we have all of them on a chart. This is important, especially if you're somebody that's in school learning Spanish. You've seen this chart before. We call it una tabla de té, all right? Or una tabla de té or a T-chart, right? Some of us might call it that. Uh, some people just call it a chart, una tabla, right? All right, so you've got all of the ones that we've talked about. Here are some pictures if you're a person that likes visuals, right? I, you. El, ella, he or she. So, yo, tú, el, ella. O también, usted, right? Usted, which is you formal. Y a la derecha, nosotros, nosotras. Vosotros, vosotras. Y'all, or you all. And then ustedes, right? And then remember, vosotros o vosotras is only used in España. And then ellos, ellas. All right? They. Ellos, ellas. All right. Now, this is where we came. This is what we came for. This is the lesson for today. So make sure you are ready. All right. The first thing is we are introducing. Vamos a presentar el verbo ir. All right. El verbo ir. Kind of like the pronunciation of your ear. Right. Ir is the pronunciation. Y el verbo ir significa to go in English. All right. To go, go in English. Now, we're looking at our chart here. This is a makeshift chart of what you just saw earlier with the pictures that we were talking about. We've got I go or I'm going. We need the first person singular form of I go or I'm going. All right. So, in Espanol, vamos a decir, yo boy. Oh, it gave us the second one as well. Let's pause, let's pause for the calls here and see what we got there. And then we've got you go or you're going. Okay. You go or you going. You're going. Um, we're going to have tu vas. And this is the informal way. Like you're talking to somebody younger than you, somebody you've known for a while, uh, or a friend or family member, of course. Uh, that is when we're going to, and you're in an informal setting, we're going to use tu vas. All right. So yo boy, I go or I'm going. Tu vas, you go or you're going. OK, he or she goes or he or she is going and then you go or you are going. All right. La forma. El, ella, usted, va. All right. El, ella, usted, va. Make sure you know, sometimes you're going to hear people pronouncing las formas del verbo ir and they're going to be sounding like they're using a B. All right. A B like in burro or 
bachata, okay? Sounds like the letter B. That's because in Spanish, the V is a soft B sound, okay? There we go. So, yeah, that's why make sure you take a picture of this. If you are an electronic person, you know, a digital person here, take a picture of the screen that you have in front of you. And then also, you know, if you've got the notebook, if you're old school like me and it sticks when you write it, I don't know why, but it does. But make sure you jot this down so you have it. Your boy, I go, tu vas, you go, él va, he goes, ella va, she goes, usted va, right? You formal go. All right, nosotros, nosotras vamos, all right? We go or we are going, okay? Vosotros, vosotras vais, all right? Solamente en España, right? Only in Spain there. Are they using vice? Y'all go. And then they go or y'all are going. Ellos, ellas, ustedes van. Remember, ustedes is also y'all, but in the, uh, we use it as our informal and our formal in Latin America or in Latino America or America Latina. We use it as our formal and informal version. All right. Hola, señor Excel Pro. Bienvenido, señor. Bienvenido. All right, so let's get it going. We got another recap here. Make sure we got you on. We want to set you up for success. La formula de éxito, right? I gave this to us. If you if you were joining me in a previous uh, live, you've seen this before. We have what we call the ICE mes- method, right? The ICE method. What does that, that acronym stand for? The I, la I. Identify your subject, right? Identifica tu sujeto, all right? That's the first thing when we're creating our sentences. That's what you've got to do is it I, you, he, she, we, they identify your subject. That's how you're going to create these sentences. Ice, right? La C, the C. Conjuga tu verbo. Conjugate your verb, right? We showed you just now. We showed you the forms, right? Boy, vas, va, vamos, van. Those are the only forms that you need. Boy, vas, va, vamos, van. Those are the only forms. Match them up with your subject, right? Identify your subject. Match them up. La última cosa. La E. End your sentence. Completa tu, completa tu oración. All right? Completa tu oración. Complete your sentence. End your sentence. Get in and get out, right? That's what we're, we're preaching here just to get you going, right? To get you going here. All right, let's get it going. So we are in El Futuro. Más o menos, right? We're, we're trying to get into the future here. Let's get some examples here on the board, right? Well, so we've got, yo boy a mi casa. If you think you know what this is, I want to give you the opportunity to tell me what you think this means based on what we've covered so far. Yo boy a mi casa. Yo boy a mi casa. ¿Qué es eso en inglés? Yo boy a mi casa. Okay? What do you think that means? Yo boy a mi casa. Yo voy a mi casa. We're going to have that as I go to my house, right? I go to my house, okay? I go to my house. Yo voy a mi casa, all right? Let's go to the next one here. La próxima oración. Tú vas a Perú. There you go. Okay, Bruce Rain, there you go. All right, tú vas a Perú. Based on what we just talked about, what do we have here? Tu vas a Peru. All right. Tu vas a Peru. What can we get here? What do we have? Tu vas a Peru. Okay. You go to Peru. Excelente, señor. Okay. La tercera, eh, la tercera oración. ¿A dónde va María? ¿A dónde va María? ¿A dónde va María? If we had to make that make sense, don't worry about it if you don't know what it is. I'm going to tell you. Basically, we're saying, where is Maria going, right? Where is she going, All right? Where is she going? Don't forget what va, right? Va is our, that's what we're here for tonight, right? Va, right? Where is she going, right? ¿A dónde va Maria? Oh, Maria va a la tienda, right? Oh, she's going to the store, right? So this is just using, this is us recapping, right? We're getting ready to get to the goods, but we're recapping. You got to build, in order to build a house, you can't start on the second floor, right? You got to build this, you got to build this house from the ground up, right? So here we go. Let's go to the next one. Pedro y yo, 
Pedro y yo vamos. Oh, sorry, wrong side of the cursor here. Vamos a cine. All right, Pedro y yo vamos a cine. Take a stab at that word cine. It's short for the word cinema. Pedro y yo vamos al cine. All right. Give that a second there for you to try to figure that out. If you if you know what it is, if you don't, we're going to go with Pedro and I. All right. Pedro and I are going to the movies or to the movie theater. All right. Pedro and I are going to the movies. All right. Let's go to the, the la próxima. Okay. Aquí tenemos ellos. There you go. Ellos van. Oh, that's definitely not our word. That is definitely not the word that we need there. Why is that there? So let's just make up something here. All right. So because that's definitely not supposed to be there. All right. So let's say ellos van a uh, al, su ooh, al supermercado. And I'm going to straighten this out for you so we can reduce the sides here. Straighten it out. Ellos van al supermercado. That's what we want to use there today. All right. And then we're going to reduce this a little smaller, make this a little smaller for us. If you, while I'm doing that, make sure you're figuring out what it means. Ellos van al supermercado. What is that? All right. Ellos van al supermercado. That's, yep, that's where you need it right there. Boom. Ellos van al supermercado. They are going to the supermarket, right? Ellos van al supermercado. All right. So now, if you're enjoying what we got going on here for you and you need more direct on, you know, self, you need more direct focus on some things and you want to, you know, work at your own pace because I might be moving a little fast for you. We do now have available for you volume one of the modules that we're going to be putting out here. Volume one, module number one, how to become a better Spanish speaker in 30 days or less. That is available right now. I will have that link for you in the description below. If it is not already there, it will be there in a few hours. Okay, so here we go. Remember, right? Recuerda, por favor, recuerda. Ir significa to go. I go, I'm going, boy, vas, va, vamos, van, right? In vice, in, in España, right? Vosotros vais, but we're not using them. All right, so boy, vas, va, vamos, van. All right, so we're going to take that information. Here we go. Practica numero uno. Utiliza la forma correcta, okay? Use the correct form of ir, what I just showed you in la tabla. All right, I want you to use the correct form here. All right, here we go. Practica con el verbo ir. All right, here we go. This is like a speed thing. Remember, we used to do a speed, those math tests that you were speed. We need the speed, the speed of the puma, the speed of the, speed of the cheetah, whatever it was back in the day with Brave Star. I don't know. Not too many people know what cartoon that is. Anyways, yo necesito la forma correcta del verbo ir en el espacio en blanco. I need the correct form of the verb ir in the blanks. Remember, subject verb agreement, right? We've identified what our subject is. Give me your answers that would go with this. I'm going to go out and go out on a limb here and put these in pretty quickly here because we don't want to waste anybody's time. But we've got ellos, right? Ellos van, right? Ellos van. Yo boy, right? Yo boy, right? Ellos van. Yo boy. All right. Ellos van, yo boy. Okay. And I'm going to type those into the chat as we go along here. We don't want to leave anybody behind here. Ellos van. All right. And we've got yo boy. All right. Now, tu novio, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Okay. Uh, your boyfriend. Sorry. Tu novio, your boyfriend. All right. Or your fiance. Tu novio. I'm just going to type the answer here. Va, right? Your boyfriend is going to the store, right? Tu novio va a la tienda, right? Va. Okay. E, numero cuatro, Adela, right? She, right? Adela. Remember, we use el, ella, usted. They all use the same form, right? Adela va a la tienda, right? Okay. 
Número cinco, mi prima y yo, my cousin and I, we, right? We, mi prima y yo, bop, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just get a little crazy out here, typing and whatnot. Uh, buddy, got a little excited right there. All right, here we go. We're back in the building. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, buddy. Let's get, wait a minute now. Can't have you flashing lights like Kanye here. Hold on a second. Let's get removed that. Okay, so I'll put the answer in as I see it here. All right. Let's disconnect and let that thing figure out what it's going to do there. Okay. I don't know why it's flashing like that all of a sudden. We got craziness going on here. I know, right? I know, right? We live, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me see if I can take this bad boy off of it. Okay, let's try it again. Come in here acting crazy tonight. There we go. She came in here acting wild and crazy and cut her off. <laughs> All right, so the screen's back. Here we go. So, uh, mi prima y yo vamos. Right? Mi prima y yo vamos. All right, my cousin and I, we are going. All right, numero seis, tú vas. Right? Tú vas. Right? You are going. Right? You are going. Y numero siete, ustedes van, right? Y'all are going. I think we got like three more here just to make sure you've got it. Let's take a look here. All right. Uh, yeah, let's look. Let's, we got four more here. Let's do these really quickly here to make sure you are with me on this. So we've got usted va, right? You go. Nosotras, we, as in a group of ladies, and she's including herself. Nosotras vamos, sí. Y también tenemos Miguel, he, él, right? Miguel va, right? Y número once, ellas van, okay? Ellas van. All right, there we go. So we've got all our practice in right there. All right, so now. Let's take a look at this. It's go time, right? Here we go. It's go time. We're going to learn to use the formula, all right? Ir a plus an infinitive. So we've been talking about that. That's where we wanted to make sure we brought you up to speed before we got started here. So what is an infinitive? Just make sure you remember what an infinitive is. An infinitive is a verb that has not been conjugated, right? They end in the letter R. Hablar. Comer. Bibir, right? They all end in R. Here are some examples, right? The infinitive, el infinitivo in English, to drink, to study, to talk, to read. It, when we conjugate it, all right, we've got I drink, they study, we talk, you read. Some examples, unos ejemplos, okay? And then, ojo, look out. It says in English, all infinitives begin with do. Right. When you conjugate an infinitive in English to match each subject, the verb often looks the same. This is not the case in Spanish. When you conjugate a verb in Spanish, it always looks different from the infinitive. All right. But we'll get into that later. Not important right now. All right. So now let's take a look at our formula. This is probably the most important thing next to the review. Con el verbo ir. This is what you've got to have. All right. To understand how to express a thought in the immediate future or the near future. We use the verb or we use the near future or immediate future when we want to we want to refer to actions that subjects are going to take. All right? And here's your formula. Aquí tenemos la formula. Ir a infinitivo son el futuro cercano or el futuro inmediato. Okay? There you go. That's the formula. Make sure you get that down. Okay. Now, another look at it. This is the scenario. This is the setup, right? Tenemos a sujeto, uh, the person that is executing the action, that's doing the action. All right. Tenemos que conjugar el verbo ir aquí. We've got to conjugate the verb ir right here. Okay. Then we're going to add in the word a placeholder. Don't even worry about what it means. All right. Ir a 
in the infinitive to do something. There's your action there. All right. This is the setup. Watch the magic. OK, here comes the river. But before we get into that, make sure you know if this is um, a little higher up for you. That's OK. We can get you started on the right path, the right way. Make sure you pick up the strategies. We've got eight strategies to become a better Spanish speaker in 30 days or less. That is available right now. You can find the link below in the description. So make sure you check that out. We've got good prices going on with that with uh, Amazon. So check that out and get your copy ASAP. Okay, so damas y caballeros, aquí tenemos put it together. What we just did, we're going to do it now in a contexto, in contexto. Okay, so here we go. Hablar, right? Significa to talk or to speak. I'm going to talk. Then we've got our statement in Espanol. Yo voy a hablar. Okay. Yo voy a hablar. I'm going to speak or I'm going to talk. I am going to. That's the, the emphasis of what we're trying to accomplish here. It's something that you're going to do in the immediate future. Jugar. Right. Jugar significa to play. Right. Jugar significa to play. You are going to play. Tu vas a jugar. Right? Tu vas a jugar. You are going to play. Tu vas a jugar a baloncesto. Right? Tu vas a jugar a football americano. Right? Tu vas a jugar a golf. Whatever you are playing or you're going to play. Okay? Ejemplos. Aquí tenemos ejemplos. El verbo escribir. All right? Escribir. All right? El verbo escribir. He is going to write. Okay, he is going to write. Él va a escribir. Right, he is going to write. Él va a escribir un mensaje. He is going to write a message. Right. Él va a escribir un libro. Right, he's going to write a book. Okay. Aprender. All right, aprender. She is going to learn. Okay, she is going to learn. Ella va a aprender inglés. Right, she is going to learn English. Ella va a aprender español. Right, she is going to learn Spanish. Okay, ella va a aprender alemán. Whatever, it doesn't matter. She's going to learn German. Right, el verbo leer significa to read. We are going to read. Nosotros vamos a leer el libro por escrito por. Uh, I don't know. Gabriel García Márquez. Right, we're going to read. Right, nosotros vamos a leer. We're giving off these immediate actions, and we can tag this. We can always add words at the end. Right, so check it out. We've got something like this afternoon. Nosotros vamos a leer los libros esta tarde. Right, we're going to read the books this afternoon. Comer. Right. Y'all, oh, this is, yeah, so we've got, y'all are going to eat, right? Y'all are going to eat. Ustedes van a comer tacos esta noche, right? Ustedes van a comer, uh, ustedes van a comer tacos esta noche. You're going to eat tacos tonight, right? All right, something that's going to happen. It's coming up, immediate future, near future. Otro ejemplo, beber. They're going to drink, right? Ellos van a beber. Leche. Ellos van a beber cervezas, right? Ellos van a beber refrescos, gaseosas, right? They're going to drink whatever it is that they're going to drink. All right. So, una pregunta. Okay. Una pregunta. This is a question that can help you out tremendously. Okay. In these streets, these Spanish speaking streets, you've got to know this question. All right. ¿Qué vas a hacer? We can tag on the end of you know, onto the end of it with anything. ¿Qué vas a hacer esta, esta noche? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta tarde? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta mañana? Right? ¿Qué vas a hacer después de clase? Right? You, people are just going to add words onto the end. It doesn't matter what that is. The important part is this. Right? ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta noche? What are you going to do tonight? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta tarde? What are you going to do this afternoon? ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana? What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay. What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay. Now, we want to set this up where we can answer it, right? What are you going to do? We want to respond with, 
I am going to blah, 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 right? I am going to blah, 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 right? So normally we would do this section right now. We'll, we'll save this for later, though. But we want to definitely bring in the opportunity for you to practice your speaking, all right? So we'll definitely work on that in another class, in a future class. Um, and we will probably see where you all are and we'll probably review con el for uh con ir a más infinitivo we'll review that all right so que van a hacer what are they going to do it says describe what people are going to do tomorrow all right so here we got más práctica we got some more practice for you you've got to use utiliz utiliza um o usa el verbo ir a más infinitivo all right so we're going to use ir a plus an infinitive here here we go. I've given you half of the scenario here. You just simply have to create the remaining part. Make it a sentence, right? So we need, necesitamos una forma del verbo ir, right? Necesitamos una forma del verbo ir más o con la palabra a, right? So if we have here Sarah, all right, or Sara, leer una revista. Una revista is a magazine. All right. So, ¿cuál es la oración? ¿Cuál es la oración completa? What is the complete sentence here? All right. Sara va a leer una revista. Sara va a leer una revista, right? Sarah is going to read a magazine. Número dos. Yo comprar un nuevo celular. Yo comprar un nuevo celular. All right, ¿qué vamos a hacer aquí? I am going to buy a new cell phone, right? I am going to buy a new cell phone. Yo voy a comprar un nuevo celular, right? Yo voy a comprar un nuevo celular, okay? Y número tres, ustedes, all right? Ustedes, nadar en el mar, bars. Ustedes nadar en el mar. Right? Ustedes van a nadar en el mar. Bars. You all are going to swim in the sea. Ustedes van a nadar en el mar. Bars. All right, número cuatro. El presidente dar un discurso. All right? A speech. All right? El presidente... Dar un discurso, a speech. And dar significa to give. Okay? So we want to say the president is going to give a speech, right? El presidente va a dar un discurso. El presidente va a dar un discurso. All right? Talking about what people are going to do tomorrow. We can all tag, we can tag all of these at the end with mañana, right? Sarah va a leer una revista mañana. And you can do that all the way down. Numero cinco. This is a bonus one here. Hacemos un viaje la próxima semana. Right? Hacemos un viaje la próxima semana. Here we don't have the same setup as we have with one through four. This particular situation, we have, we are taking a trip next week. We are taking a trip next week, right? How do we set that up? Well, you've got to backtrack. This is not the normal setup, right? With hacemos un viaje la próxima semana, who is your subject here? Well, we've got to know that hacemos está en la forma de nosotros, right? Us, we, right? So we. So now we've got to think back. Okay, we. La forma de verbo ir es vamos, right? Okay, okay, cool. So I can say vamos a, then I got to make sure I remember what is the infinitive form, la forma del verbo as, to do or to make in Espanol. What's the infinitive form? ¿Cuál es el infinitivo de hacemos? Right. Well, if we think back to the word of the day, you should know what it is. Right. If you were here with me at the beginning or you just jumped in, that's cool. But make sure you backtrack and find out what the word of the day is. The word of the day is the infinitive that we need. OK. Hacer. 
So now, en número 5, yo voy a poner aquí para ustedes, número 5, nosotros, and we don't necessarily need that, and we can put nosotros o nosotras, because we don't know if it's a group of guys or girls or a mixed group. So nosotros vamos o vamos a hacer un viaje, blah, 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 la próxima semana. Okay, here you go. Nosotros, nosotras, you can leave that out. You don't necessarily need it. Vamos a hacer un viaje la próxima semana. Okay. Now, normally I would go through this with you here, but this is just more practice. Okay. And I want you to give us your answers in the comment section. If you're watching this on the replay, you can definitely definitely add your, your, your practice in there so that we can see what it is that you came up with. Okay. So check that out and leave that in the comment section. This has been unlocking the future. Okay. Unlocking the future using the formula ir a más infinitivo, right? Or ir a plus an infinitive, all right? To express immediate actions or actions that will be coming up in the near future. We've got some challenge information here for you. So this is for our higher up people in the uh, in their level of Spanish. You want to practice those? Definitely check this out as well. And then, of course, this este viernes, este viernes. We're going to practice our listening skills. I'm going to have some information set aside for you to uh, practice some reading, some listening comprehension. OK, and the, you can also practice your reading comprehension with the same thing. I have a link to that in the description of this video. And it's coming. Este viernes, right. If you're watching this live or you're watching this between now and uh, this particular Friday. Um, but if you're watching this on the replay, it will be available when you see this. Ir a plus an infinitive, expressing the near future. I'm going to give you a few passages or a few um, conversations or dialogues so that you can listen and select the correct answer or even provide us with the right answer. We'll mix it up here to see what you do. Nonetheless, damas y caballeros, this has been a pleasure giving you this information. I hope it works for you. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, but like and share the information if you found value in it today. And we definitely want to catch you in our next live session. That one will probably be in the middle of the day, Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for joining us. Gracias. 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 Mil gracias. Soy Profe Don Omar. Nos vemos.